something. In those 40 years, I never saw my dad take a bite of food at a restaurant ever. What? Ne what? Ne look, I, never. That I don't. It's hard to explain. But he, he would not eat at a restaurant. Christy, he no. That was it. Was never. That's interesting. Never. That is interesting. I mean, it was never. I think maybe once. I think maybe he got some pie at Denny's maybe once in my life. But he just got black coffee. Just like he loved to take us out. It was very weird. He didn't uh, enjoy the things that regular folks like. But he liked to see people enjoy them. So like he would take us. We went to Denny's and like all those. If you're from the Midwest, you know, like the ground round, ponderosa, like sure. that was, come on, dog. Like, that's how we roll. But my dad, when he would just black coffee and he'd just sit there. And, like, my dad, he only ate probably f five things. Tuna crackers, steak, lasagna, Stouffer's lasagna. That he would always brag. He would go to the to the warehouse, you know, where you get the lasagna cheaper because somebody kicked it. You know, it's like, look, 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 the corner, the corner is smushed. It's 50% off. <laughs> like, that is, I mean, but it, so it was just all, it was all Sam's Club. And, you know, he would make spaghetti in, like, uh, mash-sized fats. So they would just be like, I, you know, so they your dad and I would really get along. <laughs> yeah. I know, Tom, you guys are very similar. So, uh, you guys are very similar. So Good morning. Was, what was the first um, sort of, uh, if you I know, shared a video last night uh, on, uh, well, for public did, safety. Did Someone asked me, do I know it? Personally, I don't. I've been watching this video six months or more. And he's a very good guy. He lives in the county of Harrison, which is, you got Clark County I live in, and Floyd County then Harrison County. He lives in Harrison County, Indiana. So, I don't know him personally. But he's a YouTuber. I love what him and his girlfriend Tiffany does. So, I'm on my way to Walmart. I got So I had to stop and program everything into my cell phone. So It's about 42 degrees here in southern Indiana. The time is 8, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I turn around.
dogs that fudge a little bit. You know. Right here at this bridge, it rained. Gotta be a little bug out in the country. But my lawyer told me I should get that thousand dollars Monday. Us don't deliver on Saturday. That's what she did to look at their website. And I know damn well the UPS delivers on Saturday. Because I've seen trucks in my neighborhood. So I'm asking you all to go to for public safety. They arrested Chris lives in Harrison County, Indiana. So I'm gonna get the cities as close. Maybe it's Corden. I'm not sure if that's Harrison County or not. But it's about 30, 30 miles, maybe 40 miles away from So, He's a guy, him and his girlfriend Tiffany is a person who uh, do stories on corrupt. He went to Mee County, Kentucky. Man, that, you know, that car is doing more than 35 miles an hour, probably close to 50. But the speed limit out here in Scott County says it's 55. That ain't no way you can do 55 miles an hour on a country road. So, that's something you know to think about. So, but, JJ, who is the jailer in Mee County, you know, in Indiana, the jail is run by the sheriff. It's not elected like it is in Kentucky. I guess that's the difference between the uh, Commonwealth and the state. I don't know. And when you run for an office in Kentucky, you got to put your business address, this and that, your home address. You have to do all that. It's public record. Be sure you don't put your address, your phone number, anything like that when you request public record. And that becomes a public record. So, we at the older road at this four way stop. So, I don't know Chris or Tiffany 
person away. Somebody asked me, do I know him? I do not know him or her. But he's not really an aud auditor. I guess, you know, to me he's not. He went to Meade County to get some uh, records under the open records law. Because he had to go to court the next day. And you see what, you look at the videos of him and his girlfriend, they beat the hell out of both of them. He filed a federal lawsuit against them too, I believe. He uh, served JJ with a cyst and, cyst and disorder. Because uh, in his capacity as a jailer, he uh, got all of Chris's information. Driver's license number, address, his business, phone number, and all that. That's an illegal deal. And on the, go on the government website in Meade County, like I said, you have to look at it. over the lake here in Scott County. A whole lot of people. A young kid got killed back there a few years ago. I know him. When I lived in Charlestown, he lived a couple houses up from me. And a father went to Head Start with my son. So, you know, that kid that got killed. I knew his dad and his mom and all that. But please go to for public safety. Subscribe to him. He needs our help. He has a lawyer with two donations. He got him. He's the best lawyer in Kentucky. I think he's out of Louisville, I think. I guess Meade County, maybe an hour south of Louisville, I'm guessing. I don't know nothing about Kentucky. And Rogue Nation, do I know him? No. Do I know the other guy that was on, on, on that channel that I shared with you? I do not own the rights to it and all this. But I want to let you know he needs our help. I wish I could donate, but I don't have the money. So it all started when he went down to get some records in Meade County for the court the next day. That's when all hell broke loose. I believe J.J. is the one that filed as a jailer. Is that true? What the warden said he did? Hell no, it's not true. I'm not, I wasn't there. But the paperwork, you know, Meade County, Kentucky is screwed up. That's down what you call the KKK country. Because I recognized some of the people when he went to the Meade County place to get his records. I recognized some of them from the KKK. So I'm going to try, but, but it ain't going to work what I want to do when I go into Walmart. So, so please make a donation to him 
And he goes to court Monday in Harrison County. I guess expedition from Indiana over to Kentucky. But I tell you right now, where's the DOJ? Where's the FBI? Chris is gonna get the hell beat out of him. You know. So, you know, let's say prayers for the family. Like I say, go to, for public safety. And you see the videos he does on corruption. I love him and I thank God that we got people like that that expose crooks. But JJ, you see it in the video. He's using his position to threaten uh, Chris and his girlfriend. So please donate to him. Uh, they need our help. So I'm taking my phone down, putting that little bracket of mine, clean my lens off of So, so I'm going to turn my phone around. Well, I could put it in my little phone holder and go in the Walmart. But it ain't going to work. Good morning, ma'am.
Hello, ma'am. Ready? Yes, ma'am. I guess you can scan it out here. Yeah, I definitely can. Okay, thank you. Don't you work too hard this weekend. Oh, yeah. I always try not to. Here you go. Good morning, ma'am. Have a good day. Okay, you too. Well, you got to see the wall market. Good morning, young lady. Oh, I'm old These too. New glasses, <laughs> well, I need new glasses, but that's how dad taught me when I was young. Spec all people, no matter if they're old. Make them feel good. I'm 70 plus years old. I feel like I'm 90. But. Well, bless your heart, because you made my day. You really did. Well, uh, you go home and tell your husband then. Oh, you. I, have one. <laughs> I ain't got no woman either. I've been single over 25 years. Yeah, it sounds familiar. And do I want one? No. Not no. really. I don't want to train them all over again. <laughs> and you know, I got my kitty cats to keep me company. I, I got too many cats. That's the problem. Lovable. I, love them too. I got probably 20 outside cats, inside maybe 10 or 11. And you feed them all? How do you feed them? Well, I usually go to Tractor Supply and get the two, two big bags they call multiple cats. That's 44 pounds each, and that's about $29. Wow. A couple weeks ago, I got a 30-pound bag. I didn't see they have any in it. This will last me until probably Friday when I get paid. So mm -hmm. it, it costs, but it's winter time. I feed them a little bit more because yeah. they're outside. Oh, yeah. They need that extra body fat and all this. But, I, you know, you live out in the country, you got to have cats outside yeah. to kill, kill the mice. <laughs> And I I had a good mouse catcher. Patty was a good mouse catcher. She died, but she was the best mouse catcher out of the rest of them. the females. And the one tomcat I got in the bedroom, I don't know if it was that good. I got a they're new cat. They're more for, more for loving, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're more for loving. And I got this one tomcat. He's the newest one I got during the summer. His name is Timothy McGee. After NCIS Timothy McGee, 
Uh, you know, I say he, he might be the mouse catcher, but uh -huh. but you need cats, but I got two men. He said, do that cost your cat litter? I said, well, that tracks is fly. I get what they call these horse pellets that it used for bedding. Uh -huh. And you put, maybe a, get a regular cat box, maybe two of those large cups that you get from like McDonald's, places like that. I put them in there. And all you have to do is use the scoop to get stuff out and it turns into sawdust. Good deal. Good deal. And, but to get them started, you have to put a little regular cat litter in it uh -huh. where they know that cat litter is where it's supposed to go. But <laughs> I love my cats. And good. good for you. So you I can. Have a good day. And thanks you for making my day. I appreciate you can that. tell your grandkids that I had some guy 70. <laughs> Call me a young lady. Boy, he must be white or he's blind. But I do that to everybody. It makes them feel better. It does. It does. It really works. It does. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So it does make people feel good. It made me feel good. to put my seat belt on. Hello, rogue dog. Scottsburg, Indiana. I had to get me some air filters so I could change my air filter. So I had to do that. I get me some more of those fly trips, traps, whatever the hell you call them. Yeah. I 
think I'm at the intersection of Lake Road and 56 on that. So, and I've, as I told you, if you watch my video I put out last night for public safety, that's Chris and Tiffany's channel. And they had, what was it, Rogue Nation and some other guy last night. And Chris is one that does uh, um, corruption in Indiana. He went down to me Kentucky, the jail is run by a jailer, which he or she's an elected official. In Indiana, the sheriff runs the jail. Gas here in Scottsburg is about two seventy one a gallon. You know, I made that old lady's day. That's how I was raised. You know, make him feel 70 plus good in my heart. That y'all. I'm kind of pissed because I'm kind of pissed about it. The time I paid my lawyer their 40%. The time I paid my automobile back, time I pay Medicare, Medicaid, I'm going to get $1,000. You know, I'm getting screwed, but since I got full coverage, insurance on my vehicle, they pay the first $5,000, and I'm still going to doctor on my left rotary cuff. I know the paperwork that the lawyers supposed to got such paperwork that the lawyers got didn't show that. But the paperwork I made them print me out a copy that last day I went to you know future medical bill. I'm still on the doctor's care. But I don't know. So I'm at Casey's here where I usually get my gas. I won't get no more gas until probably next Friday. That's payday for me. I had to get me some cat food. I went over 100 pounds of cat food. I usually go through. A, I usually buy three bags, but I didn't have the money to buy three bags of multiple cat food at Tractor Supply. So my camera's bouncing around too much. So I don't know why it's bouncing. Scott County is a pretty good county. They got a good share. Uh, I guess I have to tighten that up. I'm going to pull in the dollar store up there. 32 Leota Road at the intersection of 31 and 356. So, maybe get me a Pepsi Zero Sugar. I forgot to get me something before I left the house. So, that's
That's okay. What's, what's a few extra dollars? So I think I leave myself. Whoa, person. Somebody go, go run over in front of me. There's a favorite song. I know I ain't got... The Teddy Bear song. I love that song. So, I'm going to go into the dollar store. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. But you know me. I get talking. I don't want to leave. So, I'm going to tighten tight. Tighten that up a little bit more. But I don't know why it's bouncing. I tighten it up a little bit better, so.
Yeah, you could say I am. You know, it's, this dollar store is right there. Uh, is right there by Vienna. If I remember right, Vienna is uh, across the road over the firehouse and all that. You must be from this area, road dog. If you from this area, that means you know a lawnmower man. I think he, you, you, I guess he works up there at, on double, double or nothing, I believe, where he works at. But he lives across from the 4-H, Scott County 4-H Fair. And he got those storage sheds. So, that means you from my area. You know, I kind of like Scott County, but I live in Clark County. Right there too close to the border, if that tells you anything. Uh-oh, I see the lights on there on 356. So, is that train going northbound, or is he going southbound? I guess he's going northbound. I'm trying to look, but... You know, when you're looking in your rear rear mirror, you can't see too well. Yeah, he's going northbound. He's going towards Scottsburg. You know, if that was summertime, you see me up at the cell barn in Scottsburg. But, you know, my neighbor Kenny, he goes up there drive a little S10, his topper sticks out behind his truck a little bit, if you know Kenny. You know, Kenny's a real nice guy, plus he's a good neighbor and all that. I'm trying to read it, but it's hard to read when you're driving. Yep, I can't, you know, last time I went hunting when I was young, I couldn't hit a cop-picking squirrel. But I got squirrels where I live. I live across from the... Uh, junkyard if it tells you anything. They've been living at that house over five years. And, you know, I like living in the country. It's a different experience because I used to live in Charlestown for 60 plus years. And I had that stupid mayor, Bob Hall, that didn't like low-income people. But I, you know, with my income, now I get between $800 and $900 a month. And it's hell to live on a fixed income. You know, since I'm not a full-blood YouTuber, you know, I need a thousand subscribers. I need uh, 4,000 watch hours. Because there's Mr. Smith's property. But that's okay. How you doing, old dog? And I've done a video. Well, I, I live stream it from uh, 
for public safety. If you ever watch his video, I forget what his girlfriend's name is. T yeah, Tiffany. She got a YouTube channel. They went to Bee County, Kentucky to get some court records. They beat the hell out of him and her. And JJ, like I said, you gotta watch for public safety. He got arrested this week where he lived, which is in Harrison County. I thought he lived in uh, Clark County, but she said he was in the Harrison County Jail. It's all over JJ. And, you know, jailers in Kentucky, that's elected office. Here in Indiana, the sheriff runs the jail. So, as you heard me say, I get my check from my, my lawyer. Well, since UPS don't deliver on Saturdays, I get it Monday. Unless it's delivered through the mail. Sometimes I have to do stuff like that in the mail. So I have to wait for Monday. Show you my driveway. Because Kenny Dad lives in a house that looks like a log cabin. And Kenny lives in the trailer on the left. This is in the boondock. This totally is a county road. But the paperwork I got from the Clark County Highway Department says they own it. And I got paperwork, they own it. So if it tells you anything, but the courthouse says it's private. It's not private. So I'm at my Ponderosa. I had to go get me some cat food and some air filters and some fly traps and stuff like that. And I did get me something I can use in my humidifier, so that'll help out. So, out here, you know, I got squirrels. I got one of the chickmunks, I got them. I used to go up there at Orsland and get the, that little block of salt or something put over there. I had deer come walking down the road. I fed the birds, you know, the deer knew exactly where to go, you know. And uh, to the west side of me, uh, Dan Smith owns it. And the back 40, Dan Smith owns that, if you know him, you know. Oh, Lordy. There's Panther. There's Tiger. I forget which one that is. There's Grandma Blackie. These are all her grandbabies. She, I, I, I've been here over five years, so she got to be close to ten years. You take care of your grandbabies? Which one are you? Let's see. That's Panther, I think. But here, here's my back 40. There's 65 over there. You know, Mr. Smith owns that over there. He owns the back 40. There's that dumb mother, pretty girl, that kidnapped her babies I ain't seen for a week, so. But I keep getting on her and tell her to bring her babies back. So, uh, 
I'm gonna let you go because I gotta get the cat food out of the car, my air filters and other things. Thank you for joining Road Dog. Have a day. <laughs> Yo, that's not a bad idea. You heard what she said. So I don't want to train a new person. So it tells me that she was uh she was the boss in the family. Okay, see you later. Thanks for joining.